Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I'm going to be reviewing <clears throat> Free Fall by Robert Kreas. This is the fourth book in Robert Kreas's Elvis Cole and Joe Pike Detective series set in Los Angeles. You know, I've got the entire Joe Pike detective and, and Elvis Cole detective series right there on my shelf with all of my Robert Kreas novels. Now, I love this series, man. Someday, I, I'm telling you guys, someday I'm going to write... My own detective series. I don't know whether it's going to be about detectives. It's going to be a police procedural like Harry Bosch. Or it's going to be like about a bounty hunter like Janet Ivanovich. Or I don't know what it's going to be. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to write like a hard-boiled series just like these. Because I love these things, man. I, I, I actually just love this kind of book. So, let's talk about the cover. We always discuss the covers first because, you know, I love illustration. I love graphic design. And we spend a lot of time on this channel talking about artwork and book illustration. So this is this does the job, you know. This lets you know it's a... Uh, we got the cops, the ducks. Um, we've got the free fall. We've got the Robert Kreas. We've got the, uh, you know, all the first four or five books in the series all have the same sort of nice layout and design lets you know that we are reading a detective story right off the bat good job good i like it i do like it a lot this one came out in 1993 if you followed my other robert Kreas um reviews you know because i've reviewed the first three books in the series this is book four you know the first book in the series came out in like 1987 or something and i mentioned how not very politically correct it was as as were a, a, a lot of the detective novels in the 70s and 80s were just full of things that are not very woke and would not fly in today's publishing, you know. And, and Robert Kreis is still writing these, but you can kind of see he's dialing back on a lot of that stuff with each book. I, quite frankly, just uh, get, I, I get a kick out of it. I get a kick out of it when I read the old books and I see I see the stuff that would make the woke people cringe. I want to make them read it. I want to force them to read it. Force them to read it and force them to not be offended. That's what I want to do. Because none of it's offensive. Anyway, what's the... What, Elvis Cole and Joe Pike, they have a detective agency together. Joe Pike never hangs out in the office. Elvis is always the one in the office. And every book starts out with... The cliche, beautiful woman walks into the detective office and says, I've got a problem. And, and Elvis Cole is a smart ass and he's got a smart mouth and they, they banter back and forth a little bit and finally the lady tells him the problem and that's how things go. It goes the same way in this book. Woman walks in, says, listen, I got a problem with my husband. My husband's a cop. He hasn't been a cop very long. We're young people. We're only like 27 years old. He's only been a cop for like five years. And he's already made undercover. He's already one of the undercover. He's one of the top undercover guys. And even Elvis Cole is like, wow, that's pretty rare. Usually you don't make good under, usually detectives and undercover guys, they got to be in the, they got to be in the force for a while. You know, they don't just, they don't just pl pluck the rookies out and put them in, you know, but it seems like this guy is on a trajectory, like a trajectory to really, really go places in the department. Right. But his wife is worried. She's like, ever since they put him undercover as an undercover detective, he's changed. He's different. His personality is different. I'm worried about him. You need to go find I need to know why he has changed so much. I, he's not the same man that I married and loved. And, um, you know, as as Harry, as, uh, as Elvis Cole is, is listening to this lady, he's kind of walking around his office and kind of poking his head out the window. Their, their, their office is like on the fourth floor above a street. He's kind of looking down at the street at the same time he's listening to this lady's problem. And he sees, 
Because she does describe, she gives him a picture. She gives him a picture of her husband, like this is who he is. So he looks down at the street and he sees the husband down there in a car, like staking out his building with another cop in it. And he's like, holy shit. He doesn't say anything to the wife, though. He's like, this lady comes into my office. She wants me to investigate her undercover detective police husband because his personality is wacky. And while she's doing that, he's down there staking out my... Like, he knows... He's followed his wife here. So now Elvis Cole is like, hmm, this is interesting. So he takes on the job. And now he's, like, interested. He's like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I want to find out what the fuck's going on myself now. And so he takes the payment from the lady. The lady leaves. And he's like, okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. He waits about an hour or so. And sure enough, he gets a knock on the door. And it's the lady's husband, the undercover cop, and his policeman buddy and they're like hey my wife was in here and, and he and elvis is a smart ass you know he's not going to admit to that he's like i don't know who your wife is no she came in here and asked you to you know follow me and he's like i don't know who you are and I don't, i'm not following you or nothing like that and, but anyway thing is they just basically intimidate elvis into you you're not going to investigate us we're cops just leave us be you don't want to get involved in our stuff and uh and uh, not only that, but the reason the reason I'm acting different is so the husband says, the reason I'm acting different is, I'll just be honest with you, I'm having an affair. I don't love my wife. I'm having an affair, and that's just, you know, that's it. Just go ahead and tell her I don't care. And, and Elvis is like, why don't you tell her yourself? He's like, nope, you, could, you just tell her. You're, she paid you to investigate this. You collect your money. You tell her I'm having an affair. Case closed. And so Elvis lets him go, and he's like, God, that sounds like bullshit, right, man? That sounds like bullshit. And so he's like, so he, he follows the guy. He, he actually figures out where the guy lives. And he goes and he, he sneaks into the guy's house, and he uh, looks around, and he, he does. He finds things in the house that would maybe lead to there might be an affair happening. And so then he follows the cop to several restaurants, and he sees the cop with a strange woman. And so he's like... God damn, maybe that guy was telling me the truth. Maybe he is just having an affair, and maybe that's it. So he says to the wife, he goes to the wife, he's like, okay, here's here's all the photographic evidence of your husband having an affair. You know, it has nothing to do with his police work. He's just having an affair. I'm, I, I'm sorry to break the news to you. I'm not giving away spoilers by the photo. This all happens within the first couple chapters. This is the setup of the story. He's like, you're in, and, and she, he's like, uh, yeah, your, your husband is having an affair. Hair, hair, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You know, I know this isn't what you wanted to hear. And the lady is insistent. He's not having an affair. He's playing you. He's playing you. He's playing us. He's playing all of us. And Elvis is kind of like thinking to himself, that my guy might be playing me. The guy might be playing me. Maybe he's not having. Maybe he's. Maybe he's just. As, maybe he's trying to throw me off the scent of something bigger. And then the wife says, "Yeah, he is involved in something. You gotta figure it out. He's in danger. It's like she's like, I want you to figure out what he's involved in because I'm worried for him. I think he's in extreme danger." And all of this subterfuge with this affair, he is just trying to, it's danger. He's going to die somehow. And, and so Joe, uh, Elvis Cole gets his buddy Joe Pike involved, and then they start investigating this cop. And, they, and it goes into some dark places because the lady's instincts are right. This dude is in, in trouble. Like his partner isn't a good guy. Not at all. And not only that, but they are involved in drug trafficking with the L.A., inner city L.A. gangs. And we get a grip, a grip of stuff that happens in the gangland in this book. And I loved it. It's like reading The Wire. If you ever watched HBO's The Wire, the last two-thirds of this book are like you're in, you're, you're walking through scenes right in The Wire. And all those street corner drug deals and all the gangs and all their beefs and the cops and the undercover cops and all the tension. And then you got Joe Pike and Elvis Cole just right there in the middle of it. It's an awesome book. Awesome book. These books just keep getting better and better. I give Free Fall, book number four in the uh, Elvis Cole, Joe Pike series, uh, 9.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this one. 